How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So today we're going to look at five keys that have been dropping in price by quite a bit. And we'll look at and analyze each key to see like, is it going to continue to drop or is now the bottom and it's a good time to pick it up. Also at the end of this video, I like to do an update on these five keys that are dropping on one that I've done a previous video before, maybe a month or two before. So stay to the end to watch that. Also, one of the keys on this list is a book that I speculated on last year and again this year for 2022. So, but we'll look at it and see what's what with that. Okay, let's jump into it right now. We got Amazing Spider-Man 129, the first appearance of a Punisher. This is a major, major Bronze Age key. Now, let's, let's look at it right here. As you can see, in a 7.5, back in May, it sold at a peak for 4,386. Now it currently sells for 2,700. That is down 38%. Next, we got a 5.5 selling for 2,399 back in June. Currently sits at 1,800. That's down 25%. And then at the bottom here, we got a 4.5 selling in October for 2,100. Now selling for 1325. And if you look at the graph at the very top, you can see that the book kind of spiked up because there is that comic boom that I've always talked about right around spring, early summer. And then it's slowly been dropping since. But also, if you look at there, it's got a little tiny going back up. Yeah, with this book, you know, it's dropping by 38%, you know, 25% from its peak, which is still kind of a lot, but not as a lot as other ones on these lists that I've done before. But the good thing to notice is if you see that little curve up, and I've looked at other grades than the ones on here, and there's kind of a little, you know, coming back, right? So this could be the bottom for this book. And I've seen this across a lot of books. Now, there's it had that huge boom, and now it's kind of coming back. There's a little bit here and there still coming back. So being a big key like this, first appearance of the Punisher, like you can't go wrong. Like even if it drops maybe another 10 or 20% from where it's at now, down the line it's going to be so expensive. So I wouldn't sit too long waiting if you want to get yourself a copy of this. All right, next up we got New Gods number one. This is the first appearance of New Gods from Jack Kirby. A 9.2 back in September sold for $500. Now that sells for $290. That is down 42%. A 9.4 back in September sold for $608. Now it currently sits at $383. That's down 37%. And a 9.6 sold back in September for $1050. Now it currently sits at $800. That is down 24%. Not really sure what happened in September, but these books were hitting records in September, that's for sure. But if you look at the graph, it's kind of a slope down, and then there's a little bit jump back up. But with this book, I don't know what really happened in September. There must have been some speculation or something with the new gods. Maybe people got confused with the Eternals. I don't know. And that book I came up. I know that they were going to do a new gods movie with, I can't remember who I for some reason, I want to say Angelina Jolie was supposed to direct it, but I could be way off. Um, anyways, so maybe something happened and it just fell apart, and then that's when people like bought a bunch and then like yeah, dropped it. So this one, it's the first New Gods. Uh, I don't know. I don't really see, unless there's some speculation of the movie or something like that. You know, this will continue to drop uh, more and more. All right, next up, we got Marvel Previews number 95. This one is kind of the first appearance of Miles Morales as this one came out a few months prior to Ultimate Fallout 4. Now, if you look, a 9.2 sold back in November of 2020 for $2,000. Now it currently sits at $1,099. That's down 45%. A 9.4 back in November of 2020. So over a year ago, sold for $2,650. Now that currently sells for $1,300. That's down 51%. And a 9.6 back in February sold for $57.50. Now it currently sits at $29.32. That is down 49%. Now, the reason why this book like blew up out of nowhere, and I mean blew up, just got super expensive, is because Ultimate Fallout 4 was just blowing up. And just, you know, just insane prices, you know, going from like a $300 book to a $900 book to a $1,500 book, you know, and slowly going up. So people started like, oh, 
Miles Morales, really hot. Well, and they found this book and they're like, well, this is kind of actually his first appearance because what this is is basically a preview of different Marvel comics they'd give to the comic shops to show, hey, these are the books that are coming out. These are the stories that are going to be in it, things like that. And they're like, look, we got a new Spider-Man, Miles Morales. They put him on the cover of this and they talked about how he's going to come out and all this kind of stuff. And yeah, so that just spiked this book. Because there's not too many of them. Most of these books were not kept in very nice shape. And there wasn't, it wasn't like a normal comic book, so to speak, because it was just previews of all the comics coming out. This is going to be tied with Ultimate Fallout 4. So I think this book will slowly start coming back up from its current price as long as Ultimate Fallout 4 goes up. But it was way too expensive, I think, in the beginning. I want to say like a 9.8 sold for like 10 grand or something like that, or 12, something like that. All right, move on. The next book, this one is gonna sting for me personally. This was the book that I put on my speculation of last year and my speculation of this year. But, you know, I tell it how it is. And I'll tell you my thoughts, overall thoughts about it. But anyways, let's move on to it. It is Usagi Yojimbo number one. I've been specking on this book for a while now. A 9.4 back in June sold for 5.46. That currently sits now at 375, that's down 31%. A 9.6 sold in July for $900. Now that's selling for 585, that's down 35%. And then a 9.8 back in July sold for 2800. That currently sits at 1158, that is down 59%. And if you look up here at the graph, you can see it had that huge comic boom, came down a little spike up there, but it's just been dropping, dropping, dropping. Yeah, it's sad to see this book on this list because I've been specking on it. But I kind of got into this book way before the comic boom. So most of my copies, most of them, not all of them, um, I'm already making money on, right? Even if I sold it today. I'm not though. I'm not. I have like maybe a couple up, but I have like 50 copies of this. I am not. I'm waiting. Yeah, it would have been nice if I could time the market and sold it. You know, I never saw the boom coming. I was going to wait until, you know, the, the TV show comes out which is happening. Like they already, it's already been animated. Pretty soon we'll probably get a trailer in the next three months or so. I think it's on Netflix, I believe. But yeah, I still am very, very bullish on this, meaning that I still think it's a good buy. I think it'll still probably drop a little more, but then we're gonna get the hype going. We're gonna get you know trailers dropping, you know all of those things. And who knows, maybe it's a hit, maybe it's a massive hit. And this book climbs up even more. But the good thing about this is at one point it was selling for a lot. So that kind of put like a new ceiling on it, right? If you go back a couple years ago, it was selling for a couple hundred bucks. But now that one sold for 2,800, that puts a ceiling on it and going, people go, okay, it can get to that level. So I still think it's a good buy. Like I said, I have a few copies I'm selling, but most, like 95% of my copies I still have and I'm still holding. So take it for what it is. Could be dead wrong. Could this crash down to five bucks? But I doubt that. All right, last one on the list. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed, if you like this kind of stuff, I do this weekly now, every weekend, uh, subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of other stuff too. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the little like button down below. Thank you. All right, last one. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number one. This is the first appearance of Rocksteady and Bebop in a comic book. And we got a 9.4 selling back in uh, February for $400. Now it currently sells for $299, that is down 25%. A 9.6 sold in February for $580. Now it sells for $400, that is down 31%. And then a 9.8 sold back in January for $1,700, now it sells for $700, that is down nearly 60%. If you look at the graph though, it looks like it's kind of stabled out, like dropped and then kind of leveled out. I have a bunch of these copies. There's so many of these, so, so many. Um, it, when the comic boom kind of happened, it kind of started with the turtles. That's why these kind of happened in January and February compared to most. Their record highs are in May and June and July. This is shot way up. It came way back down. Um, I think it'll still drop, even though it seems like it's leveling out. I just think there's so many copies available 
on eBay and on the internet that you can just have your pick of whatever you want. And so it, I think it's going to still drop. Supply and demand, I always say that. I think there's just way too much supply. Once, now that the prices are dropping and people are picking them up, there's going to be less available on eBay down the line. So you're going to have to wait for that supply to go down before these prices really start coming up. And at the very end, I said there would be an update on a comic book. Here is that update. Okay, we are looking at Wolverine number one. Now this is for average prices from one average to the next. So back in November's average, a 9.4 on average back in November sold for $147. Now it currently sells for on average $141. That is down 4%. A 9.6 on average sold for $221 in November. Now the current average is $203. That is down 8%. And a 9.8 back in November for the average price was $500. Now the current average is $519. That is up 4%. You can look at the top graph. It kind of like dropped down. It's kind of leveling out. This is kind of like what I'm seeing across the board on bigger keys and things like that. I'm seeing... The drop, obviously from the comic boom, boom, got the big drop, right, throughout pretty much towards the end of the year. But now I'm seeing a lot of keys kind of leveling out because they can't drop forever. You can't be dropping like 10, 20% every single month, right? So they're dropping. So they're finding a new floor. And I think that new floor will kind of do this for a little bit and then it'll start going back up. So this could be the start of the floor, right? We already have a 9.8 literally increasing from the previous month on average. The other 9.6 and 9.4 still going down, so I still think it's gonna kinda do this for a bit. So I think we're almost near the bottom for this book. All right, I hope you like this stuff and have a great weekend.